Hey guys, welcome back in this new video. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to install Fedora KDE Plasma 42 on your computer. And so let's begin. So the first thing to do is to grab the eyes of the operating system. So you're going to go into their official website, which is fedoraproject.org. Scroll down, Fedora Plasma Desktop, you click on Download Now. And here you pick the one for your architecture. My CPU is a x86 and 64. So I click on Download this one. And then you're gonna save this ISO. And I'm not gonna go into how to burn or put the ISO into USB stick. You should watch another tutorial on how to do that if you don't know how to do that. But you can use Balina Etcher or Ventoy to put the ISO of Fedora into USB stick. And then you want to boot by that USB stick with the Fedora KD Plasma ISO. So this is what will appear after you boot from Fedora KD 42. And here you select Start Fedora KD Desktop Live. You press enter and you wait until you get into Fedora KDE. So here we are, we are inside Fedora KDE Plasma 42. The first thing you want to do is to connect to the internet, as always. If you have a wired connection, it should be automatically connected. If you have a Wi-Fi connection, then you have to go down here on this icon and then you select the Wi-Fi connection of yours, you input your password, you connect to the internet. And after you've done that, after you have connected to the internet, and after you have connected to the internet, here you can click install to hard drive, and what this will do is it's going to open the installer of Fedora. And so here we are. Here we're going to select the language that we want to use. So English for me, I click continue. And here I'm going to change the keyboard layout because I have an Italian keyboard. So I click on plus and I search for Italian. And here it is. I click on Italian, add, and then I'm going to remove the English one. So here the time zone is the right one for me so I don't have to change it. And here you have to be really careful. I'm on a virtual machine right now, so I only have one disk, so it's going to be very easy. And if you have more than one disk, then be careful, select the right disk, as always. And if you want to delete the entire space of the system, then you have to click on the disk that you want to utilize to install Fedora, and click on free up space by removing or shrinking existing partitions. So this will remove everything and the entire disk will be for Fedora. So this is what I want to do. And then I click on done right here. And to confirm that I want to delete every single existing partition and claim all the space for Fedora, I select delete all and click on reclaim space. So this is done. And here on user creation, I input my user account. And so, for example, Linux for all, of course, I input my strong password here and that's it. You click on done and then you press on done again and that's it. And if you want to add a root account, you click on here, you click on enable root account and you put the same password that you put on your profile just to make things easier for yourself. So you click on done two times and that's it. You can click on begin installation and yeah, it's installing already. And I'm going to see you when it will finish the installation. So here we are, guys. It has finished the installation. I'm inside Fedora KD Plasma 42. And so we're going to click next here, next again, this is just showing you some things. Next, and here I like to always send my information that is obviously anonymous to the KDE Plasma team because it really helps them. And then I click on next, and here you have to click on enable third-party repositories. This is so important, otherwise you won't be able to install the NVIDIA drivers, you won't be able to install Steam, you won't be able to install Google Chrome. So enable the third-party repositories. So after you've enabled them, click next again, you can click on finish, and now we're going to install the NVIDIA driver. So you're going to open the terminal console here, and then you're going to type sudo dnf install NVIDIA minus driver. That's it. You input your password, and that's extremely easy. You just type that command, and that's it. You just wait until all of these refreshes, and here, as you can see, it talks about the NVIDIA driver that we want to install. So you have to type Y, then you press enter and it's going to install the NVIDIA drivers for you. And after it installed them, please reboot the computer. So now to install Steam, let's open the terminal again. Let's open console and then type sudo dnf install steam. You input your password again and then you type Y here. And then that's it. It's going to install Steam. Here it asks me for some confirmation, so I type yes. Yes again. And so here it is. It has installed Steam. And the first time you open Steam, you want to open it from the terminal because on Fedora, for some reason, the window where it says that Steam is updating does not appear. So if you don't do it from the terminal, you don't know what the fuck is going on. So you want to open Steam from the terminal to see that it's actually installing Steam, as you can see here. And that's it. And as you can see, to open Steam from the terminal, you just have to type 
Steam inside the terminal. And so that's it. After it's done updating Steam from the terminal, then you can use Steam as always and you can open it from here. You don't have to open Steam from the terminal anymore, just the first time. Then as one of the last thing that you want to do after installing Fedora is open this cover right here and type for Dragon Player and uninstall it. This is the default video player that Fedora KDE ships and it's absolutely garbage. It doesn't work most of the time, so you want to remove it. You click on remove, and even if it doesn't say that it's removed right here, it is removed. This is just a virtual machine, it's buggy. And you want to install MPV as a flatpak. So not this one, because it doesn't say flatpak. This is from the official repositories of Fedora. But you want to install this one, which is from flatpak. So you just click on install, and that's it. It's going to install MPV as a flatpak. And the last thing you want to do on Fedora KDE is update the system. So we have two ways, either from the terminal, which is the first way that I'm going to show you. So you open the terminal that is called console again, you type sudo dnf upgrade, you input your password, and it's going to ask you if you want to upgrade the operating system or not. And the second way, which is from the graphical user interface, which a lot of people like, is to open this cover again. And here in the section that is called updates, you will have all the updates here. You can click on them, you can click on more information just to see what is going to actually be updated and you can click on update all to update the operating system. So this is it. This is all you have to do on Fedora KDE after installing it. And I hope this video helped you to install this amazing operating system into your computer. And if it did, please leave a like and subscribe because it really helps the channel grow a lot. I'm going to see you in the next video. Have a nice day.